Can Jesus tell a lie? Is Jesus Christ a liar? Well, no speculation. Let's go to the Bible because we are told that the Bible is the word of God. Matthew 16 verse 28. The Bible was speaking Jesus Christ himself and he says, Truly I say to you, there are some of you standing here who will not test death until the Son of Man comes back in his glory. There are some of you standing here who will not test death until the Son of Man comes back in his glory. The question now is, is there any man, any single person standing in that congregation or in that place where Jesus Christ is talking who is still alive today waiting to see the coming back of Jesus Christ? That means he was simply an imagination. He's coming back in simply an illusion. It's just about wasting the lifespan of youth, anticipating illusion that have no root in the axis of reality, exercise on futility. It's time for African youth to return back to their roots, stay awakened and exercise their youthful age in building the world which they will live and which their generation will live because Jesus Christ himself has proved himself a liar by telling us that some people standing in the midst of his congregation will not experience death on, until his back. Meanwhile, there is no trace of anybody standing in that meeting that is still alive today. Jesus is the biggest liar in existence. Jesus is the biggest ideological criminal who have come to give you anticipation of a better life after death as a reward to find comfortability in the current state of life you find okay um first of all i want to say this i am not the kind that responds to videos okay but the moment i came across this video i tried to pass but i was led to listen so i listened at the moment i listened i wanted to comment but uh it was not all about comment because i need to correct something now i am not here to judge you because i am not given the power to judge judges judgment is of god I want to say something, my dear brother. I know that you are trying to air out your opinion, so I won't judge you of that. But let me also drop my own opinion with you if you come across this video. Now, Jesus never lied, and Jesus will never lie. The devil is known as the father of lie. Jesus can never lie, and he will never lie. Now, when Jesus said, according to the word you quoted, that he said, Every, some of them among those ones that are hearing him now, they won't see dead. First of all, what is dead? You first of all know what is dead. Now, the righteous, the righteous are not made to die. Now, even before the time of Jesus Christ, the Bible recorded so uh, some people that never died. They, they left this world without facing death. Death are made for sinners, not for righteous people. Righteous people don't die. Righteous people, they don't die. Death are made for sinners. When Jesus used the word, some of you here will not die. It's 100% right. Why? There are people who are righteous, who live their life, who live their life in Christ that will never face death. Death is not of God. Death is not of God. Death is a penalty for sin. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. Death are for sinners and not for the righteous people. Let me correct you. So when Jesus said that, he was very, very correct. Those who are righteous, the Bible said they will sleep in Christ. You see many people today, they, they just sleep and they don't wake up. Does not mean they died because of sin. Many of them, God take them. There is no way God will take you and he will take your body alongside. No, your body has to remain here on earth because your body belongs to this world. It doesn't belong to heaven. It is your spirit. So if you see some people that died, you will see the kind of dead they die. And you will see those people that they are sinful people and they are dead. You will see that this one actually died in sin. Righteous people don't die. They are being taken. Elijah never died. Enoch did not die. And some other ones that was mentioned in the Bible. Just so complete what I am saying. I'm going to read to you the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 from verse 13. Please bear with me as I read. He said, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. Verse 14. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, now if we believe there is, if we believe that Jesus died, now first of all, if you believe that Jesus died, Jesus did not die because he was a righteous person. He decided to take upon himself sin. Sin gives open doors for death. Sin open doors for what? Death. So if Jesus died, 
It means he did it because of sin. And the reason why he never remained there is because he was not a sinner. So he resurrected again. And when he resurrected again, he didn't die. He went to heaven. So that, that is to show to you that Jesus just played an example saying that the righteous are not to face death. The righteous ones are not to face death. The moment you are righteous and your work here on earth is finished, God will come and take you in his own way without you facing death. The door of death are for sinners. The door of death are open for sinners, not for the righteous one. The righteous one are not to face death. Okay, uh, I will go on with the, the verse. Uh, I was reading verse 14. He said, for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, if we saw them also we sleep in Jesus, will God bring with him? Those who sleep in Jesus, he said, will God bring with him? Now let's go on. He said, for this we say unto you, by the word of the law, that we wish are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord Jesus, not pre prevent them which are asleep, not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from the heavens with a shout, with the voice of the word archangel and with God, and the dead in Christ shall rise again. Now, the reason why I read to this place is because a lot of people were going to like, you didn't finish it, so I came here. He said the dead in Christ will rise again. Who are those people? These are the people who were killed as they were doing the work of God. Now pay attention. They were assassinated as they are doing the work of God. That is to say, these people did not finish their work here on earth before they were killed. So they were killed because of the work of God. So that is why this word came here, the death in Christ. So they didn't die in sin. They didn't die according to the nature of sin. They didn't die in the law of sin. They died in the law of what salvation. So he said, they that die in Christ shall what rise first. So my dear brother, I will drop this message with you. Uh, you can believe whatever you want to believe. And you people who wants to believe in you can believe in you. But I want you to know something. That whatever you are doing, take your time to ask yourself, why am I actually doing this? Nobody is fighting you. Nobody is stopping you from believing in the God you want to believe. Leave others to believe what they want to believe. If I believe in God, leave me to believe in my God. If you believe in the universe, Believe in your universe. Nobody will drag you out of your house from believing in the universe. Nobody's going to beat you from believing in your universe. Okay? God bless you. Thank you so much. I believe you will understand this message. If you don't understand, you can leave a comment down here and I will still respond to you all. Bye. Shalom.